Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So clearly, God doesn't want you or me to be anxious. Jesus gives, what, eight reasons not to be anxious back in Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 33. And I think the reason Paul and Jesus and the other writers care so much about helping us get beyond worry, get beyond anxiety, is because it makes God look bad when we're worrying all the time, right? It makes him look like he, he's not going to help us, or he's out of control, or he's not wise, or he's not kind, or he doesn't know enough to help us. So worry reflects very badly on our, our Father. We have a Father in heaven who meets all of our needs. So the opposite that Paul commands is peace, peace that, that passes all understanding, and he calls it the peace of God, which means it's peace from God and probably means it's the very peace of God because Jesus said, remember, my peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. This is the very peace that the Father and the Son have with each other that the Holy Spirit gives to us. And the pathway, the verse says, toward the peace is to let your requests be made known to God. And God is our central request. I need you above all things, but all the other requests as well. And we're to do it with thanksgiving. And the thanksgiving directs us back, right? We, we give thanks for things that have already happened, and we look back to what God did for us, especially in Jesus. And the reason I say especially in Jesus is because that's the way the text ends. It says, um, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so this peace is happening because with thanksgiving, we're looking back to Jesus and all that he did for us. We're trusting in him, and thus we're united with him. And in union with him, we have a Father in heaven who meets all our needs, and therefore we have a peace that no ordinary human understanding can produce.